So welcome back to MHD Live and now it's an absolute pleasure to welcome Paul Phillips into the studio. Thank you for taking the time out, I know how busy you are. So let's start with everything that you've been doing uh, on the fashion side of things. I know you have your own salon but you work backstage a lot at the catwalk shows. Tell me a little bit about what you've done this season. So um, yeah, like you say, my hub is CHOP, um, that's my salon. So when I kind of take in time away from there when the fashion weeks are on. So um, we've just sort of finished doing Men's London Fashion Week. Great. Um, doing a lot of campaigns for that, which was, mm. you know, I, I do both men and women's hair, but kind of getting heavily involved in just styling men um, was really good fun, actually. It was a real good insight into up and coming trends and what's going to be kind of, you know, coming down onto the street um, in the next sort of few seasons really. And I think as a salon owner that's obviously incredibly important isn't it knowing that you can actually bring back what you've learned and translate it for your clients. Do you think that your clients appreciate that? Exactly that Emma you know I kind of um, before I started getting involved in the session work I was kind of looking through magazines or on the internet looking at what's going on in the catwalks and now I feel quite fortunate because I'm there amongst mm. it and you know sooner or later those trends do follow through mm. you start seeing them in your top shops and your high street kind of um, retail outlets and then you know the kids on the street then they start sort of sporting hairstyles that I saw a few seasons ago mm. in the fashion weeks so, and my clients like it because they feel that I'm keeping them up to date with the, the latest trends. Of course which is so important isn't it especially now. Definitely. So tell me uh, now moving on to education about your experience as an employer using the MHD student support packs. Okay, so um, I'm a global ambassador for myhairdressers.com as well as sort of running CHOP as my, my business. And it's, it's great because it allows me to kind of have that continuity um, so that I can attract, you know, talented members of staff to come to me because they know the training is going to be fantastic. And also for young recruits coming through the ranks, I mean, I, an analogy that I can best describe it, I'm, I'm really into my football, mm. um, I imagine Manchester United, you know, walking into their changing rooms and the team have got their kits lined up and the names on the back of the shirts and their numbers and their boots have been freshly cleaned. It's so organised. Mm. And then you, you know, play on a Sunday league football and their kit's in a black bag, the socks are all uneven. You know, like it's, it's that le level of professionalism. Mm. So um, when I'm training sort of the young guys coming through the ranks and I'm using the MHD support packs and student packs, it, it's just fantastic because they know that they're going through all the stages at such a high level. And I think for students out there who aren't aware of MHD, you know, when you just qualify from a college and you don't use MHD, the standard is so different. Mm. So it's great for that. And what would you say uh, the benefits have been to your team um, since you began using myhairdressers.com? The benefits from my team, we, we're becoming better educators because it isn't just me who passes on the information. You know, mm. I've got a team of people who, you know, might do hair extensions, hair up, colour. I get heavily involved in the cutting. So we're becoming better educators and the students are becoming better all-round hairdressers because mm. they're not just focusing on one area. My hairdressers allows you to branch out and, and touch all areas. And would you say that education is very much at the heart of what you do? Definitely, because without that, you know, I'm two years into a business and, mm. you know, it's going really well so far, but I'm aiming big and I want a, lo a long sort of career path. Mm. So, you know, without educating them right now, um, it's not going to be long lived, really. And do you have any advice for employers uh, considering purchasing um, a membership of uh, myhairdressers.com? What would I, you say? I think if you're looking to kind of educate your staff to a standard whereby if you want to leave the salon and go off and do your session work and you've, you know, you're fortunate enough to be in that position where you can do that, and I come away from the salon knowing that the standard is kept at a five star standard mm. with or without me in the salon. So that is priceless really. Yeah, and you've got the benefit of knowing that everything's smooth running at yeah, all times. definitely. You know. uh, and what would you say the future is for you? Well, I just I want to keep travelling and keep learning um, because that never stops. Mm. I'm constantly criticising my own work and I want it always to be better and better so I guess um, I guess keep pushing really. Um, I'm very driven, I'm very focused and I'm, I'm not going to stop learning really. Excellent, that sounds good. Well thank you very much for the insight into your business and also you know the educational side of, of what you do. I really appreciate the time no that you've thank taken. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, thank you.